How you guys doing? I'm about to walk you through BTV Solo, assuming I'm in your shoes, the new guy that's never touched music production before. You don't own a MIDI controller keyboard, you don't have any instruments, you haven't really played with tools much. Uh, and we're gonna build a beat using nothing more than this keyboard right here, okay? So you have a desktop computer or a laptop, Mac or PC, any OS version, doesn't matter. We're gonna walk through making professional, high quality 44.1 stereo beats, ready for stereo use in studios and broadcast scenarios and whatnot. Again, having no experience, no real theory built up yet, you just know how to bob your head. That's about all you need to do and tap your fingers. We'll show you how to build amazing beats with this thing. If you do have a MIDI keyboard, you can hook it up to this. Uh, you can import your own instruments, your own samples. You can auto chop and edit WAV files right in the thing. It's really versatile to put it all into one word. As a workstation, beat maker, melody creator, hit maker, uh, it does a lot of stuff. So let's go and build a beat right now using just the keyboard like you're going to do as soon as you order today. All right, let's assume you guys just installed it, running it for the first time. You beginner guys don't care about the advanced features. You just want to know how to make a beat really quickly. Make sure you're in pattern mode and just click new. That's it. You're in a blank canvas. Nothing will work yet because you have to assign sounds to it. On the left, you have virtual kits, virtual instruments. The users are you when you import stuff. So let's click on virtual kits, which are your drums. Double click on anything and you'll start noticing you have sounds triggered by your keyboard. Now this is laid out just like a compu uh, musical keyboard, one octave. So the A is your first C and then go up one to your W, that's your sharp, and you literally go through your octave just like you would on an actual keyboard. The banks here go up and down eight times. So you have a full eight octave keyboard at your fingertips and if you have a MIDI controller that is 8 octave, you have full control. Because these are drums, not a piano or a violin or something, when you bank up, it's just more drums. Bank up again, more drums, or a sound that's key spanned the rest of the banks up, which is phenomenal. So all these guys here have a ton of sounds within them, uh, equating it to just endless amounts of combinations, right? So let's now just record a beat really quickly. This gives us our metronome. You'll see it flashing when it's on record. You press play or your space bar on and off. And control R is your keyboard or your recording on and off. You have a minus one, which gives you a one, two, three, and you're recording on that fourth count in. BPM, you click, hold, and drag with your mouse up or down. So find a BPM you like, find a kit you like, get yourself triggered up and ready. Maybe practice with your fingers. I'm gonna use my left hand and one finger only to give myself a bit of a handicap here. Pretend I am a brand newbie into this stuff again. See what happens here. One, two, three, and. It's at 1 quantizing, which means it'll snap it into place at 1 and it's four bars. So four, two, three, back to the one, two, three, four, two. And now what we're going to do is just quickly save it. Go to save, just press and hold delete, and name it whatever you want to name it. Press user, and that goes and dumps it into your user banks and patterns over here. So now we can just keep building. I'll find some more sounds I like. I want to use some hi-hats in there, sure. Press record, and it goes through it again. One, two, three, and... If at any point in time you don't like what you did, just press undo and it'll undo what you just recorded and you can relay it again. I'm not going to do none of that because I want this video to be relatively short. So now what I'll do is explain what the roll does really quickly. You like something and you want to roll it up or down, here's what you do. Record, play, it's already on bar two, I'm going to wait for the fourth bar and then I'm going to hold that, repeat it, and then pitch bend it and you see what I mean. So we'll go through it, three, two, three, and... I'm at quantizing 116. I can turn it off, it'll be natural, but if it is on and I hold, it'll repeat it for whatever the quantizing's at, up to 64. So you can roll that snare 164th, which is sick. And now what we'll do is press play again, and on that fourth, we'll pitch bend it. This is your pitch right here. Very easy. Two, two, three. Three, two, 
and listen for the roll. That's it. It records that pitch bend, and now you can press play again, and it'll play back for you. So, just keep laying more sounds, or find more instruments and put them on other channels. We'll do one or two more, and then I'll wrap this up. You'll notice how my graphics keep changing too, and you can do that by the blank button. You can even design your own skin and import it if you want to uh, get yours all customized and whatnot for you. Sometimes you'll also wake up from your zone and be like, you know what, that sounds horrible. I hate that, but I like my drums, for instance. So all you do is press control, mute the layers you want to mute. Once they're highlighted, they're muted. Now we're going to go to layer five and do something different. I'm going to lower the tempo a little bit and let's just say, you know, I want to get into a different creative zone. We can easily do that. We can even go up a bank now, maybe fill it in a little bit more with another layer of these bells, but higher. Go up one more bank. BPM back up to say 99. I'm going to get one more layer in here. We'll go for a nice bass. that easy guys next we're gonna do something like that over to the beat and I'm just gonna freestyle it one hand 